Yahoo! Let's see if this this guy go over there, Mark. Video off that way. Yahoo! 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 Um, because people are giving me crap about saying "Hey, prof here," because everybody does that. I'm like, yeah. all right, we'll use Yahoo, which means fucking hey. Uh, hey. And I was I was gonna originally go like way into it, like Yahoo, me na san geeky des, like just go super like just cringe as fuck. And people are like, what What the fuck are you doing? That's my point. I got nothing here today. Um, oh shit, I probably shouldn't show them the actual, like... Except, we do. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover this up with my hand. We had some stuff. Okay, uh, Amazon. Right? Right? Gamers. However, if you check the label on the side here... Prime. Not English Amazon. Japanese Amazon. What? If you guys have seen some of my videos before, you've seen my one titled Best Keyboard Ever. Well, this is the new best keyboard ever. Uh, let me uh, cut off my label real quick. Razor made another keyboard? God damn it. Get your Razor shit out of here. Only good keyboard they've ever made is the Huntsman. Raz Razor Tournament Edition? I prefer the uh, Optical original Huntsman, personally. Original Huntsman. I mean, I wish that was tankless, but... Because uh, I like the... Uh... God dang it. Okay, we're opening it from the bottom. Okay, so I tried removing the label. However, the label has a label and a label. And a packing slip, so we're going at this from the bottom. So, thanks a lot, customs. Uh, yeah, this actually got lost as well. Um, so, what we're actually talking about here is Happy Hacking Keyboard. My original, uh, not original Happy Hacking Keyboard, but Happy Hacking Keyboard Pro 2, which you may have seen on this channel before. Oh! Ugh! Way to go! Well, uh, recommend this very sharp tactile chi change. Uh, Keychains Tuck XL. Um, remember to put the blade away before you stab your finger into it. Um, it hurts otherwise. Uh, but yeah, I highly recommend his stuff. Um, best utility knife I've ever owned. I think uh, Squares in the background here can vouch for the same. It's great. Uh, check it out. Uh, just be aware that lately he sells out within minutes, if not seconds. One minute and 30 seconds. Yeah, something like that today. Um, so in here is what I originally reviewed, the Happy Hacking Keyboard uh, Pro 2. Yeah, Professional 2. Um, the successor to that is right in this box here. Uh, I would argue that this is uh, the best mechanical keyboard ever. Razor! Um... Tournament edition. So, uh, they did finally refresh the... Hold on here, I gotta move the... I'm s just slightly going out of the... And actually, we can probably turn this off of face focus, because we want it on the product. Yeah. There we go. Alright, so... <sighs> Um, they finally refreshed the Happy Hacking Keyboard, Happy Hacking Keyboard, or HHKB, you'll see it denoted as, Professional 2, Pro 2. Um, everybody thought they were going to do a Pro 3 because they kind of announced it um, when they opened up shop directly in the U.S. Now, this new one, the Happy Hacking Keyboard Pro Hybrid, is not yet available in the U.S., only China and Japan. I, of course, couldn't wait. After. And imported this. Now, the hybrid comes from, they actually have a Pro 2 Bluetooth, I believe they call it, or wireless. Um, hybrid means because it's wired and wireless. Opens the box, a Zerti layout, face palms. I hope they didn't send me a JP layout because, like, by default, like, because I ordered this from Japan, it's the Japanese layout. 
back in the day, like people would appreciate yeah, that, but I, I, I would not. I mean, I thought I think I ordered the right. Way. So here's what we got in the box so far. Now I didn't just order the the keyboard. I ordered the keyboard on the case because I already had the nice uh, what it, canvas or it's good, nylon. It's a good thing it's fully programmable. That's why. And Squares just brought up why I bought this one. Not because of the wireless. It does have Type C, which is mm, Type C because the old one had Mini B which is fine for a keyboard. I prefer that over micro B actually. Um, and, uh, but it has type, it has fully programmable. Now, Happy Hacking Keyboard, in my opinion, has one of the best out of the box 60% key layouts. However, I believe mine's better. Fight me. Um, now, I wouldn't say it in front of the guy that invented it, probably. Um, I don't think you're gonna find too many people are gonna fight you over keyboard layouts. Oh, oh. God. <laughs> You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. So here we got here is we have a very, a very light cardboard. Then we have a thinner, very light cardboard. And then we have the one that uh, we got here. So, oh, and I did mention that oh, oh, before I break things. Um, you didn't even unbox it yet. Yeah. Just dropping it on the ground. I, I'm dropping like the, the. Well, what I dropped was the keyboard roof. That is to protect it when it is in the keyboard case. Um, and I did order because the keyboard roofs used to be available through Elite Keyboards in the US, but Elite Keyboards has since uh, like gone defunct. I don't know. Like, he used to sell clacks way back in the day. You guys know what clacks are? Um, yeah, so it goes on top of the keys to keep like dust little, off when you're not using okay, it. It's like like the plastic gas. shelves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what's important though is, especially on the soft case. I guess I just never heard it referred to as a roof. Quote yeah, quote. and and you know, what do you call, you call stuff a trunk in this country? Just, too? Just a cover. Yeah. You know? Keyboard. Um, but yeah, especially cover. in this case, which is a soft case, it's nice to have that on there because if you put heavier stuff in here, like I used to keep my mouse in here. Um, it would squish down the keys, which not ideal. Yeah. Um, now I did order a, a roof for this one, or the older roof, and I ordered the newer roof for the newer keyboard. Technically, the, the same keyboard, so it would work. I just wanted to keep it, you know, old case, old roof, new computer, new case, new roof. I don't know which roof I got here, because um, one got back ordered on me. First off, though, we have the keyboard, which is what we're going to open first. These are uh, what you, uh, you know, what, well, you know what, you in a bit. In, in, in a bit. Tease ya. Right back here in the background. Gotta build that anticipation. Build that anticipation. Yes. So, let's get get you guys zoomed in here. Oh, I'm leaving that in. Man down. Man down. Can we leave that coffin? <laughs> All right, so the first one here, this is going to be the, the new hard case, still a briefcase style. Um, this was what was supposedly backordered, but turned out it wasn't. Um, Bird, uh, they're one of the main manufacturers of accessories for the Happy Hack keyboard. Because um, uh, it turns out Top Ray and uh, PFU, uh, which is a Fujitsu company, uh, don't make many accessories for their own keyboards. Um, and here's all it is. It's a nice hard case. Um, and these are spacers um, that you can attach up here um, for the newer hybrid because you you're going to have a battery bulge. Because uh, in classic Japanese fashion, that just takes double A's. Nothing, nothing fancy. I'll probably throw some lithium double A's in there. Yeah. If you use a lot of keyboard, you could uh, go nickel metal hydro chargeables. But you gotta remember, uh, probably not gonna be a high draw device because it's USB, you know, and, and generally nickel metal hydrides are better for the high draw. Uh, Such as a home phone. Uh, or like, um, like say the audio recorder we're using right now that just drains batteries just like, you know. It also helps that, uh, I know we're going on about batteries now, but it helps that if your devices are made for nickel metal hydrides because they go from 1.3 volt down to 1.2 volt, and their generally their amperage varies, whereas your standard alkaline and, and uh, you know lithium batteries, not rechargeable lithium, just lithium batteries, are designed to drop in voltage with a constant amperage. 
So they work. So those will go from 1.5 to 1.1 volts. So the issue with putting nickel metal hydrides in a standard alkaline battery device is they think they're half dead because they're at 1.3. That's where they're starting. Mm -hmm. um, and then they'll eventually drop below the amperage that they would require, even though they're still at, say, 1.25 volts, but they're not doing enough amperage. So that's why, or in the case of the recorder here, uh, we can uh, change that. It has a setting to use one or the other. Use rechargeables if you can, obviously. Um, better yeah. for the environment. Better for the environment. Savages. Yep. Oh, and then a lot of people with rechargeables used to always uh, say like, "Oh, it doesn't. If I charge them up and leave them there, get yourself some anti loops." After three years for standard anti loops, they have seventy five percent left. That's pretty good, right? If you let them do nothing for three years, seventy five percent of the capacity is still there. Capacity Old, or the charge. The charge, like so, like. As in, like, the... If you charge them up, you leave them stored, basically. For three years, 75% of what was in there when you left them there, still in there. Which for, which for rechargeables, um, that used to not be a thing. Like, you used to, like, leave your rechargeables sit for a month. Yeah. And that's yeah. why you never put them in remotes, is because they, they'd lose their charge faster than the remote would actually use up their... Yeah. Yeah. All right, so in this case, okay, we actually have the older style. So I'm waiting on the newer style roof. So this roof, it's got uh, little black corners here, um, is going to actually go onto my older Happy Hacking keyboard just to keep it, uh, uh, what do you want to call that? Uh, pristine. Not pristine, but like a... Uh, uh, Dust free. Well, yes, but I'm saying like what reason I got the old one for it. Um, period correct. We're accessorizing it with period correct uh, oh, accessories. Uh, whereas the new one has more of a like rounded top, and this is a perfectly clear. The new one you can either get in black or like a frosted ish. Now we're back up to the you know the star of the show right here, the new best keyboard ever. Fight me about it. Did you say that thing took batteries? For wireless, yeah. How else would you power it wirelessly? Internal lithium ion battery. Still battery. Yeah, they didn't want to do that though because remember. Um, they're building an enthusiast, professional keyboard, so they couldn't find a battery that fit in here, um, that was rechargeable, that was user replaceable. And they insisted, being a Japanese company selling a professional keyboard that will last you, um, theoretically, if I would have held on to my first one. I suppose, like, it doesn't have RGB, right? Nope. How long do uh, batteries last in regular wireless keyboards? Uh, it, this one, I'm Wild sure, months. in Japanese somewhere on here, it tells me how long it would last on fair double A's. A while. You could probably get half a year. Yeah, actually. it's it's a while. Um, but the important part is they didn't want you to have a battery go bad in here and not be able to change it because yeah. if I still had because this is not my original Happy Hacking Keyboard Pro, um, my original one I bought in 2008 or 2009, I know for a fact because the person I sold it still loves it, still uses it daily, uses it daily. Um, if you had a rechargeable battery in there, it would be dead and you'd have to replace it over a 10 year period. Yeah. So they didn't want to get you guys, you know, they didn't want to stick you with that. So they'd like, that's how they get you to come back, man. They don't want you to. They already got you minimum $300. I suppose, man. So they want product to last a lifetime. Um, it's not on this box anymore, but it, it, uh, the correct terminology is, um, oneness with cup rubber. What does it sound like? Oh, and it farts. Yep. So technically top race switches fart. And they th make thock noises. It's a very unique uh, experience. And I, of course, uh, many of you probably won't, won't dig this. I freaking love it. This is the first keyboard I saw that I was like... It's black on black? No, it's black on dark gray. Can you Charcoal. close the lid on that so it doesn't sleep in it? Charcoal. On both of those, just flip them closed. Just, just push them all the way and close it. And he's gonna go on that one, right? See, I told you. We have a cat trying to sleep in my camera bags. Oh, you can't do that, you can't... No, 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 sir, sir, no, no, no. I knew he was gonna do it. Like, okay, it, it no. I saw it, it was coming. Good, it, was a good, it was a good try, I'm sorry. No, no, no. But um, this is this is the first the first keyboard right here that I saw that I was actually like impressed with the in, like the industrial design the colors stuff like that. I mean I do still have um, from back when I this keyboard 
used to see uh, a red escape key, red escape key, and lavender WASD. I thought with the charcoal slash dark gray, that just looked amazing. And I still do to this day, even though I don't run them that way. I just run them, uh, you know, plain. Um, let's get this out of here. And so also in here, we have a pair of AA batteries, Fujitsu brand. You know, who would have thought a company that makes it Jitsu. Fujitsu. Yeah. Not a very large brand in the U.S. anymore, you know? I've heard of the, I've heard of the name. Yeah, they make laptops. Uh, mostly, I believe, only in the they make hard drives Asian... Yeah, they sold it to Toshiba. I've never seen some and then Toshiba, Toshiba doesn't do that anymore because they're going bankrupt, so... Yeah. I don't know if they, they might have sold it again, but they were they had to get uh, Hitachi's pr uh, production. Rip Tobisha. Because... If Western Digital would have gotten production from Hitachi, they would have taken like more than 75% of the market and you can't have a monopoly down, right? I mean, it sucks. It really sucks. Um, so yeah, all, all the, uh, the manuals we have here are totally useful to me who definitely totally speaks uh, Japanese. I don't. We're going to look up an English manual online or Google Translate it. <laughs> You know what? You know what? Real time. We, yeah, I, I have done that before. Remember, we were trying to figure out the one Steel Series most. Yeah. Is it and is it the rival rescuer or the rival survivor? Turns out the Chinese characters for that are exactly the same, and it's context based. Except those characters aren't before or after anything else in that case. Great. I, I, that was another mouse that, that I didn't corn didn't get me one, but I bet you, I bet you could have got me that one. I don't even remember where. Oh, I don't remember where I got that. Oh, dude, do, do you see this? You see how like matte that is? Like probably bought it from AliExpress or some. It took garbage. a long time to get here. Yeah. Okay, I, I gotta bring this up to the mic for you guys. Sorry, the AC or a, AC AC kicked on. It's the middle of winter. The heater kicked on. Here, here in Wisconsin. <laughs> We love having the AC on in January. You hear that though? Because it wasn't cold enough. It's not like talking. And you could get the you could get the silent version. There is a silent version. Um, however, uh, I don't like it as much the sound because uh, it only silences the up, like that that high that high pitch right there. And I actually feel like it takes a bit away from... That's how some people think adding O-rings to cherry makes them worse. Because there's technically that little bit less travel. Yeah. Like, they don't like it. They're also bottoming it out, so... Aren't those technically called dental banded? On That's how we used to do it back in the day. First modifications were not O-rings. Uh, they were actually... You would use the little dental bands from braces. Yeah, but isn't that, like, what... No. It's called on the, the toe brace when they silence them when they go up them? Uh, people have modified it doing that way as well, yeah. uh, but that's how the the clutches. Yeah, it uses a piece of foam. The original mod for it is. Oh, I think I think on the, the clutches, I think they actually. They might have cheaped out, but on the on the Type S of this, which you can get by the way, however, Type S does not come in this. The other thing, Type S does not come in the classic black on dark gray. It only comes in the tan and white. Uh, or grain white, whatever, one of the two. Beige. Uh, yeah, not a fan of that. I am. I when I saw this, this was like when I first saw my first II headphones. It's like a classic color. Yeah, but like, look at that though. That this is this is happy hacking keyboard here right here. Uh, the one thing I can tell you they already fixed is they put rubber feet on the bottom. I know, mind blowing. And I don't, I personally don't think the bulge on this. You can see it. You can see it right there. Um, I'll put my hand behind it. It's not that bad. Because um, the type that they could have used for lithium ions, by the way, is the same my headlamp takes. Did they not put rubber feet on the other model? Correct. Seems like a pretty standard... Not 15 years ago. Standard feature to... Not 15 years ago. Okay, I suppose. Not 15 years ago, I guess. Yeah. 
Wait, are you telling me that they're still making the exact same copy and they haven't updated anything? And it still sells like hotcakes? Yes. Oh my lord. That, that you know how we, we just actually had a video about a death adder? This is next level. Right here. Is it lighter? <laughs> I don't pop it. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, again, it's wireless now and Type-C and programmable, so if anything, I think they, uh... Um, Optical, mechanical. So, if anything, this thing probably gained weight, which for keyboards, I would actually prefer. More weight, more better on keyboards, generally. You gotta, like, use it as a, a blunt force object. Says the guy who has a keyboard weighing how much at home? Yeah, that's okay. It's in, it's in the coffin, as I like to call it. So, it's okay. Don't worry about it. So, what we have right here, though, is we have our uh, battery spot. So what they're talking about is they were thinking about using the same I use in my headlamps, which is the uh, lith the standard lithium ion uh, battery. Um, do, do you toss me my headlamp? It's right there. Just hawk it here. I'll catch it, just don't hit the keyboard. <laughs> so this is what they would have used, because this is a standard and not a uh, standard. This is like the standard lithium ion battery size right here. It is the, uh, I should have known this, uh, 18650. Okay, but that is much bigger than a double A. And they didn't want the bulge to be uh, that big. And also, the, one of these would have been plenty to power the whole thing. So you would have had a little tiny bulge, like, yeah. it would have been sticking out way more and. Just been this awkward little. Yeah, so this is so what they would have used, because um, that's 100% user, user replaceable. I have like 10, of, not 10, almost 10 of these around here. Um, even that's inside of laptops. If you not take the laptop ones and use your headlamp, there's nothing that, because remember, there's no logic in those. Uh, so if they decide to go over voltage or over whatever, they will just will and they'll be in your head. It, spend the money, buy the stuff that has all the stuff built in the battery. Because when it's in a laptop, the laptop yeah. manages the battery, whereas when it's in your headlamp, the headlamp doesn't. That's how Best Buy's catch on fire. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, we can grab out... Let's grab out ye oldie. Ye oldie. Happy Hacking Keyboard. See, look, I added rubber feet to this. See? I see that. Um, the original also had this weird issue where it wouldn't sit flat. That's why you would want to put a little bit thicker rubber feet. So every chassis on the Happy Hacking Pro 2, because it's PBT, um, is slightly torqued. They fixed that on the new one. Because the cooling process of PBT, it shrinks more than ABS does. And so pretty much every single Pro 2 that I've ever seen had a slight little... Now this one doesn't because I have pretty thick rubber feet, or foam rubber feet on it. But it was slightly not flat. Every single one of them. Yep. Quality. I'm sitting razor bolt with <laughs> that too. Is it a little bit they did they did improve the switch durability. I think we're a little bit Alright, let's go with let's go with the escape key. Original Happy Hacking Keyboard Pro 2. That's escape. All right, then we got, uh, let's do uh, seven. And then we're gonna go uh, colon, I think. All right, now let's go on the new one. Seven. We'll go with the colon. I feel like it's a little lower toned. So if we even go can't you change that with different keycaps? Uh, you can't get different keycaps. You say you can't get different keycaps? Well, if you find Top Rate keycaps, good luck, though. That's fine. Top Rate did make uh, keycaps back in the day. I did have both a pink and a green set. Um, they were really rare, so um, when I ended up selling all of my Top Rate, because I made my own keyboards and programmed them, um, I made more money on the keycaps than on the keyboards. Because keyboards, by the way, happy hacking keyboards will pretty much sell for what you bought them for, even used. Maybe slightly less. Normally you'd say used to take a 20% hit when you sell something. 
probably 10 or less when you sell top ray or, or happy hacking keyboard related stuff. Yeah. Um, cause getting it a lot of times is the issue, not the actual, like people who are willing to buy it aren't worried about the cost. They're worried about like actually getting their hands on it. Um, which until top rate launched, uh, or PFU bought the happy hacking keyboard to the U S officially. Now they sell it on our website and Amazon. You always had to import them. And that's why Elite Keyboards would be like the official importer, stuff like that. Um, so on this set, there's a uh, dip switch in here. This is what controls um, where your delete is, uh, swaps alt and... Uh, so it's going to control that makes this, it'll swap this back to backspace instead of delete. And then function that is delete, which I prefer. Um, I don't think anybody actually uses it where this is delete, and then they have to do function to get backspace. It's just not really a thing. Um, they left the new layout the same way. However, it has the same dip switches. And then you can swap. Uh, normally, this would be Alt on a uh, Windows keyboard. However, that is Alt on this. Another dip switch that I use switches those back to be more like your standard uh, Windows ANSI. Layout. I remember this uh, happy hand keyboard was built uh, based on a Sun Microsystems terminal keyboard, shrunk down to a 60%. So that is also why control is where it should be. If you look at the Model F, correct placement. Do you really use caps lock anyway? No, you don't. Get over it. Every day. At work. Caps lock. Online caps lock. So and you have the same guide on the bottom here that goes over your... Um, switch mode, so you have hack hacking, keyboard mode, Windows mode, Mac mode. Um, I don't remember what mode is the correct one, just don't use Mac unless you're on a Mac. Um, then we have... Oh, it goes over Bluetooth pairing, uh, the delete and backspace swap, the function... Oh, and then you can also, the other important one is that you can add... Uh, the left alt to be another function key. Normally you just use your pinky. I'm fine with that. Some people like having, when they're doing this side of the board, to have another function key over there. I'm fine with using my pinky for everything because I'm a seasoned happy hacking keyboard user. Now, the important part with this, if you guys are wondering, is I can now program this. have to figure out how. Hopefully it's not all in Japanese. Um, it's probably going to be in Japanese. And I'll have to figure it out. However, Probably. I've programmed keyboards in Korean before, so Very true. I've Very true. navigated Windows XP in Chinese as well, so I, I should be able to do this. Um, I download music regularly in Japanese. Um, as long as you know the right thing to look at, like, I don't necessarily need to know what it says. Just, I need to know what it does. And as long as they use basic software design principles, I'll be able to figure that out. Um, but yeah, so far, it feels a bit more solid. Uh, the batteries do add a bit of back heaviness to it, obviously. But once on your desk, you're not gonna... The rubber feet's on here, dude. You hear my little cart movement? Like, that's some good rubber feets. Way better than no rubber feets and a torqued chassis. And by the way, they do make this in the non-hybrid version. I just personally wouldn't buy it. The non-hybrid does still have the bump because they didn't want to use a different chassis. However, it's just USB Type-C and cannot be programmed. So if you want basically this, Happy Hacking Pro 2, which might go on sale while they're trying to get rid of, um, you know, stock, which does have a USB hub in it. Be aware, it's USB 1.1, non-powered. Useless. I think USB, it might be USB 2, but it's not powered. So that means you have 500 milliamp for the keyboard and whatever devices you plug into it. So unless you're running, like, a basic wheel mouse optical, um, you're not... And I think this was more to pander to the uh, Mac, Mac folks who back in the day were used to plugging their keyboard, or their mouse into their keyboard. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I, I, I had one of these. This was my second mechanical keyboard, not this specific exact keyboard, but the Happy Hacking Pro 2. Um was my second keyboard, 
and uh, I, I eventually rebought it again because I was just typing one day and I'm like, I, I want to type on a happy hacking keyboard. And there are other top ray key keyboards, so top ray uh, makes their own stuff, a uh, real force line. Mm -hmm. um, I did have a bunch of those. Um, Leopold does have some top ray based keyboards. Um, Cooler Master at one point had one top ray based keyboard, which was even compatible with Trainer Max keycaps. So a lot of people will buy that one, rip all the stems out of it, and put them into hacky hacking keyboards or real force boards, because mm -hmm. um, those stems were uh, exclusive to those. Other people ripped them out and then molded them to make, you know, their own stems that were compatible. Mm -hmm. um, I still feel though, because of the sixty percent form factor and however they laid this out, the happy hacking keyboard has a unique feel to its top right switches. Also, for the longest time, it was the only one that had a continuous forty-five grams actuation across the entire keyboard. Mm -hmm. Uh, whereas most real forces have a variable because, you know, it's since you're reaching more with your pinky and your pinky's weaker, they make those 30 grams. And since your main pointer finger is a freaking brute, they make those, you know, say 55, 65 grams. And space bar, like, chunky. I don't remember the exact amounts. Um, but generally for top rated for the longest time, this was the only uh, non-variable keyboard. And a lot of people did not like, don't like the variable, even though technically it's better. Um, places that use a lot of topper keyboards because these are considered the most reliable. Um, uh, if they don't have specialized Cherry specific ones that are programmed, they're going to have probably Real Force, probably not a Happy Hack keyboard. Usually programmers or sysadmins might have one of these. Um, I have a couple programming friends that do indeed use these on a daily basis. Um, but you'll see them in like banking institutions, uh, air airports, um, stuff like that where. Like when you press the one key, it's gotta press and fuck. It's gotta press one, and it's gotta press one once. Not, oh my old cherry switch that's been here for ten years. Oh, just triple trap, triple tapped. Yeah, you know? and cherry is very reliable. I'm not saying that, but when you actually use it in like a, you're there twenty four seven, working. Um. Apparently, top ray has seen higher reliability than sure. cherry. Um, you gotta remember, it is a combination of a uh, capacitive switch, rubber dome switch, and a mechanical switch. So it's a bit of everything. What actually gives you the feel, the initial like tactility, yeah. that is the rubber dome. So the rubber dome, actually, unlike a normal rubber dome keyboard, does not. Um, uh, what do you want to call it? Like, uh, it doesn't do the actual like clicking or anything. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the spring is there to actually give you nice feedback, you know, it can support the rubber dome. The nice tactile feel. Yep, yep, and then the actual capacitive layer, which is very similar to a rubber dome, yeah. which is very reliable because Model M's use that as well. There's a little foot in a Model M that goes tap, 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 tap. Does that one have adjustable, uh... No, it is not like the, uh, the gaming, one gaming variant of... Because yeah. that's made by Top Rain as a real force board. Yeah. This is specifically... The t Happy Hand keyboard is made by PFU using top race switches. So it's okay. technically, okay. underlying tech is the same. Yeah. Even though this is a very well-known top rate keyboard, it's not yeah. actually made by top rate. It's made you by PFU the, uh, Fujitsu. You know what the actuation like for, sir? Like the level is on that? Like two millimeters? Like where? It should be bang in the middle or right about. Like These do feel a bit more solid than the... Like four millimeter throw, basically, to actually. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm an awful person because I uh, didn't, I don't know the every little tweak they did. All I can tell you is, I, I love this. Uh, it's durable. It's fine. <laughs> PBT. Yeah, Except the space bar, ABS. I don't know if they fixed that on PBT. this either. PBT. Uh, but every bit of this is PBT. Nice. Um, love this keyboard. Uh, when they came out with this one and said it's programmable, so I can use my own layout on it, yeah. bought it. Instant buy. It's, well, it took me a bit because I had to find some place to import because even though it's sold on Amazon, uh, was shipped Prime Amazon Japan, they will not ship it direct to the U.S. And that is because they eventually uh, do want to get uh, stuff over here, um, but they don't yet. So, so oh, I'm chopping off my head. Oh, let's get in. Do, 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 do. Continuous. Oh, my head in there. Oh, I'm way not 
zoomed in enough, and I didn't line. Oh god. Again, gosh dang it all. Make sure you uh, hit record too. That shouldn't be stopped recording it. Uh, no. The other one I bumped when I was like changing us around or whatever. Uh, Alright. So. So I don't know more, I guess, specifics on this because like everything's a very slight variation on the original. Doesn't really matter. Because um, that was the best keyboard, um, and this is the new best keyboard. So that's what that's what really matters here. Yeah. Um, I guess if you haven't used a 60%, try it. I think this is my most efficient way of normal typing. I might run a, and I used to run a separate number pad um, if I need to do like some real crunching. Um, but this will get me uh, unless you need dedicated function keys, and might not like it. Um, so like that, but for typing, like input text, 60%, my opinion, optimal. Um, I like the switches. Yeah. I miss the standard oh. control key layout that I'm used to, though. Get over it. I can't. Um, the other thing is, is oh, if you have a faulty uh, 2015, or uh, is it, and newer, the, the ones with the bad keyboards, perfect fix. You buy the, on the MacBooks. Oh, gotcha. oh, Wait, perfect fits. So you, you, you go and you get from Bird. Bird makes it. There's a couple different variants of shelf. You get clear, black, white. Just pop it over your crappy Mac keyboard if that's broken anyway, that you've had in three times. You just, just put a happy hand keyboard on top. And now it's Bluetooth. You don't have to plug it in. Easy peasy. You get your little case, carry it, you know, either the new hard case or the old soft case. And, uh,. Close the, the Mac onto the keyboard. Yep, yep. And uh, yeah, this is how you fix your. This is the easiest way to fix the Mac keyboard. Uh, check out the Twitter. I'll link the post down below. But perfect. Um, fix your Mac keyboard with a three hundred and fifty dollar wireless Tobre keyboard. Yep, yep. Done. Yeah, I think it's around. It's around three fifty US once you convert it. Um, I think imported was four, just under four hundred. Because there's like you know like conversion fees and them importing it and stuff like that um i forget how much the case like the case and and especially the the roof are not cheap but like i said they're quality keyboards i know for a fact my old one is still running and kicking got it 2008 maybe 2009 at the latest so that's 10 years right there and i know the person uses it daily at work so five days a week eight hours a day still kicking and i i used it about that much before it went off so um if you like you know if you're interested in a 60 percent i know this is a big kind of chunk of change throw at it or if you're ever interested in top race switches in my opinion this is the best way to experience a top race switch right here and now that you can program it if you, you're interested in my layout i will probably be making a video once i learn how to program it on how to program it um into my layout once he figures out the language barrier. Yeah, like, you know, language, both potential. both the software potential language barrier language. and the actual, like, language language barrier. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll go over with you guys how to program it. Uh, I know for a fact you have to plug it in, but it does retain that. That was the other thing, because if it was only programmed via wired, eh, what's the point of being wireless? You know what I mean? Um, and I'll go over that once I know more. Um... We'll hopefully see you in follow-up videos to this, uh, and hopefully you enjoyed the new best keyboard ever. We'll see you in the next one. I want to use it. I'm not even going to program it. So I'm going to go put it on my